exhausted and I definitely pushed myself way too hard, but I still think it was worth it. Came home and I opened my door. Good morning, so today we are going to go to Key West again, but only for a little while this morning before we head back to my grandma's house. So yeah, I'm really excited to um, see what we didn't get to see yesterday. Um, I'm in a lot of pain today. I definitely pushed myself yesterday, but it's okay because like I said, it is only going to be a half day, so yeah. Hey guys, so I've been home for uh, like three days now and I'm editing this uh, last vacation vlog right now and what you're going to see next is the Hemingway house but unfortunately I was not allowed to film inside and um, I wasn't going to break that rule because I didn't want to be disrespectful but you were allowed to take pictures so I am going to insert the pictures that I um, took on my phone so I'm sorry I couldn't film inside but like I said I didn't want to be rude and disrespectful So grateful that we got to go because um key west is absolutely gorgeous and i loved it um but now i um uh, we got home i took a shower and i'm laying in bed with the heating pad i am exhausted and i definitely pushed myself way too hard but i still think it was worth it um tomorrow is my last full day here in florida before i go back home i'm not sure what we're gonna do yet i guess it just depends on how i feel but yeah, that's all I wanted to update you for tonight because I am going to go to bed soon because like I said, I am dead tired. But anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So today is my last full day in Florida, which is sad, but I am kind of excited to go home to see my family, but I'm still kind of sad because I am going to miss my grandparents. But um, we are going out to lunch right now and probably do some more shopping. And yeah, that's the plan for today. I don't feel the best, so we are going to take it easy, but um, yeah. Hey guys, so we are back from shopping and we went to Ulta and um, I got some San Tropez self-tanning um, mousse. And I don't think I could, um, showed you what I got the other day, the last day we were in Key West. I got this really really cute picture frame and then I got my mom another Christmas ornament of the Hemingway house which I'm not going to show you because it's already like packed up but um right now I am packing I'm all checked in for my flight tomorrow 
and I don't know how I'm gonna get everything home but I'm going to do the best I can and I think I can do it um so yeah hey guys so we are leaving to go to the airport and I'm really really sad but I'm also excited to see my family and um I actually surprised myself and was able to fit everything back in uh, my suitcase which is good um so yeah I will talk to you guys later finally home from Florida and I had the best trip ever but uh, I came home dad you're gonna be in this if you <laughs> I came home and I opened my door and look at my room it's painted and everything's all set up and I have all of my Christmas presents framed and I'm literally crying oh uh, so huge thank you to my parents and sisters for surprising me with this. This is amazing. Oh, um, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, I'm trying not to cry. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's all. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm just so happy to be home, but I am so, 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 so grateful for my grandparents making that trip so special and I'm so grateful for my parents and sisters for redoing my room while I was gone. I love it so much and I can't wait to put all the pictures up. So I took a shower and I'm in bed now. I'm exhausted from traveling all day but I am just so 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 grateful for my grandparents for making this trip amazing and I'm so 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 grateful for my parents and sisters for doing my room while I was gone that means so much and I absolutely love it and it's so much better than the hot pink that I had and I can finally uh, like get rid of my 13 year old self <laughs> but um yeah I wanted to talk about my airport experience today because it wasn't the best um I got to the airport and everything's fine and then I went through security and as always I get stopped. I don't know why I always get stopped but I just do and um, like I put my bag through this um, x-ray scanner and they pulled it and um, the TSA agent just tore it apart and um, the thing that set it off were my like travel heating pads. They've never set them off before, but I don't care. The guy was really, really nice about it though and put everything back like as neatly as he could, which was nice. But then um, the flight was delayed for like an hour. Um, and then there was some sort of an emergency at the airport. Like there were fire trucks and everything. I'll insert that footage here, but um, I'm not sure what was going on. There were tons of fire trucks and ambulances and police cars, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was about, but it didn't affect us, and the flight was smooth other than a little bit of turbulence coming back home. Um, and then I got home and I opened up my suitcase and I have one of those letters that says that this bag has also been torn apart, so I don't know what I packed. But whatever I did, it obviously set off the alarm, so maybe you shouldn't take packing tips from me, but nothing was confiscated or anything, so I'd rather have them go through it just to be safe then you know if that makes any sense um so 
Yeah, anyways, I am exhausted and I'm sure you guys are tired of me rambling and um, I'm going to end these travel vlogs um, and start my normal vlogs back up tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching it and I hope you enjoyed.